Yes, guys, how is it going? Welcome back to the adventure. Today, well, we're at Warsaw, but we're not going to Warsaw. We are parked here. Warsaw playing Harrogate today. We are going to Aston Villa versus Arsenal at Villa Park. Now, it is so, so windy, and I've had to walk all across the car park so I can find a spot next to a building where it's not as windy. Flipping heck, the, the sun is beaming down, but it's so cold and it's so windy. This is legit the typical British weather summed up. It is so, the sun's coming down, it's warm, but it's freezing at the same time. British weather, you gotta love it. So yes, yeah, time to get to Villa Park. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, and avoid the wind, let's do that. <laughs> This has honestly got to be one of the coolest ever train stations, honestly, I've ever been to. Over there, you've got Walsall Ground. That's cool enough, a train station stadium. Then you've got the M6 and you have to go underneath it to get to a train station. And then you've got to go over a bridge, over a river. That's a win. That is, this is a cool station. There's a lot of stairs in different weird angles and places. Anyway, I've been working on my Birmingham Max then. How's this? Block I. Is that good? Sorry if that was insulting. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, we've made it in. It's very tight up here though. And uh, yeah, it's Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Let's go, let's have a great game. Not a 
have a look at it again. Radical stuff are coming on to Saka. So Mings has got a yellow for that. Villa fans not happy, but could have been worse. I think VAR might have a look at it, but it, it was late. Uh, but yeah, yellow card seems about right because he did get the ball, but he did take Saka in the process. Okay, so we are right at the top of the Trinity Road stand. I think we're at legit the highest point that a spectator can get to in a stadium, and it is half time. It's Aston Villa 0, Arsenal 1. And I mean, the scoreline does reflect how the first half went. Villa haven't really had a shot. They've been good attackingly, uh, moving it down the wings well. Uh, John McGinn whipped in a brilliant, brilliant ball, and it really caused a lot of uh, mayhem at the Arsenal back because Ollie Watkins was trying to sneak in behind Gabriel to try and get a little touch on it, but the goalkeeper came out and made himself big. Leno also got a bit of a knock before half time. Uh, Villa fans aren't really happy with the referee, however, I think the Minx challenge was the correct call. I think it was a yellow card. The ball had gone. Yes, he took the ball and pulled it out wide. However, Saka was about a tenth of a second from nicking it off him. And uh, it was late and it was a yellow card. On looking at here at the stadium, it did look like it was a yellow card. It might look different on TV. Uh, and the referee got a right nice, nasty reception from the Villa. Park faithful as he went into the tunnel at half time, and so did Saka, obviously, for going down in that challenge. It looked like he got quite hurt in it. So I'll give the benefit of the doubt with the referee for that one. It did look like a yellow card. However, the goal was scored by Saka himself. Brilliant strike on the edge of the box. Low, firm, and hard into the bottom left corner, giving Arsenal a 1 0 advantage. And uh, yeah, they've been really, really good down this near side, down the Arsenal left. Kevin Tierney's been getting a few crosses in. Uh, but the, there was a brilliant, brilliant football move from Arsenal. It started on the left, Tierney and uh, Smith Rowe. Brilliant skill from Smith Rowe. And then it kind of was a little back heel, and then it switched over to Saka. Overlapping run, cross came in. Had about two Arsenal players, I think it was Party and Lacazette, I'm not too sure, kind of got in the way of each other. It looked like it was going to be put into the net for a stunning goal. Uh, but yeah, other than that, not really much to report. It was a bit of a dry game before the goal went in. Arsenal obviously having the possession and the chances. However, Villa aren't out of it. So it's half time, it's 1 0 Arsenal, but it could go anyway in the second half. Villa need a goal. Also, this is what it looks like at the top of the Trinity Road end. I'm not supposed to be up here, but oh well. <laughs> Arsenal an opportunity to break and 
in the past are, are going to take one of those opportunities sooner or later. Got to get a grip in the field. Martinez is coming up. Imagine if he scores against Arsenal. Here we go. Last kick of the game. Long, long wait. Last kick of the game. Oh, maybe not. He's still waiting. There we go. So there we go 
than full time at Villa Park and it's Aston Villa nil, Arsenal 1 and first things first what an absolutely huge win that is for Arsenal and the fans and the players and the, and the club staff all know how big of that win could be in their battle and getting in the top four they had to win that game and they did big big result it was Saka's goal on the edge of the box that separated the two teams inside the first half Villa showed a lot of positivity in the second half especially attacking however they just kept giving the ball away in midfield and Arsenal probably should have took advantage of that they had a couple of chances Saka curled one round the post Villa I don't think they even had a shot on target in the end at all right till the last kick of the game where Coutinho's free kick was dramatically saved by Bernd Leno uh, there was a chance where Ings had a header that just went over the bar but for other than that Villa didn't really create anything they were positive we're going forward they have the fans on the side there's a lot of frustration in the stands of Villa Park especially aimed at the referee who I thought had a fantastic game uh, and yeah that's that's really about it what an absolutely huge huge win for Arsenal in that in this battle to the top four we've got three incredibly close battles in the Premier League this year we've got obviously the title fight between us and Liverpool and then we've obviously got the top four battle between Tottenham West Ham uh, Arsenal and Manchester United uh, and then also the relegation fight as well, which, I, honestly, I can't call either three of the outcomes. I can't call the final Premier League table, to be honest. But, yeah, what a huge, huge win for the Gunners it was today. And there we go, that is the end of the vlog. We actually sat next to Aguna. How big of a win is that for you guys? Massive. Absolutely massive, massive, massive win. Anyway, if you have enjoyed the vlog, make sure to smash like, subscribe down below for more football content. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out from Villa Park. Villa Park.